opening music and title, Cal OES, Inside Look, OESnews.com. I'm Brian May with Cal OES. We are, as the crow flies, just a couple of miles from Pacific Coast Highway 1 in Malibu, the Pacific Ocean literally right in front of me. But behind me, you see one of more than two dozen cleanup crews continuing to work and clean up the debris from the November wildfires. Heavy equipment digs up debris in soil. Lot by lot, scoop by scoop. Debris removal continues in the burn scar areas of the Hill and Woolsey fires. Debris is scooped into a dump truck. Kendra Bauer, Cal OES Incident Commander. Everything's going really well. We've got about 27 crews that are in the field performing debris operations for Ventura and LA County. Over 1,000 residents have signed up for the state's consolidated debris removal program between Ventura and LA counties, a process that begins with a completed and signed right of entry form, allowing the state to begin the clearing process. There's about eight steps that go into the entire process. That process includes site assessments, if needed asbestos removal, and then the actual removal of burned debris. Once it gets put into the debris removal phase, the property owners get notified with a 24 to 40 hour telephone call to let, the, let them know that the crews are going to be out there so that they can be on site if they'd like to be. As cliche as it may sound, it takes a lot of teamwork. You've got different state agencies, you have local jurisdictions, you have your cities, your counties, you have consultants, you have contractors, um, open lines of communication, we're all, we, we all work out of the same office. Once debris has been removed, soil samples are taken to make sure that the property is safe to rebuild on. The end goal, which is how we measure our success, is being able to release these properties back to their, their rightful owner in a manner that is clean and safe and that they can start rebuilding and starting their lives over again. Mind you, all of this is happening at a time when the weather can be, let's just say, unpredictable. Did yeah, I guess. Snow! <laughs> During our interview, it actually snowed in Malibu for the first time in 50 years. The weather's been a slight factor. Uh, we've had some mudslides on the mountainsides in Malibu, so we've had some weather days in some areas we can't reach due to these mudslides. Obviously, the state's consolidated debris removal operations requires a tremendous amount of safety through every step of this operation. With more on that, here's Justin Jacobs. Thanks, Brian. And in keeping safety paramount throughout the debris removal operations, you can see crews behind me wearing full body suits as well as respirators to keep them safe during the removal process. Additionally, many of these sites have air monitoring equipment set up to check air quality throughout the removal process. Protecting the environment and keeping personnel safe is paramount throughout the debris removal operations. Back to you, Brian. If you'd like more information on the state's consolidated debris removal operations, you can go to wildfirerecovery.org. For all of us at Cal OES, I'm Brian May. Thanks for watching. Visit our online newsroom at oesnews.com to learn more about this program and get the latest news and information from our team. Don't miss our next video on your Facebook timeline. Like our page and you'll get the latest posts as they happen. If you're an Instagram user, you can see the latest snapshots by following our Cal OES Instagram account. And Twitter users can get instant access to our tweets from across the state by following Cal OES.